Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, you know, all praises to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. He has more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. Every day that passes, things are getting worse and worse for the other nations. They're living in a delusional time, thinking that things will return back to normal anytime soon. After they've gone out and had their Memorial Day festivities and partied, you know, like crazy as we watch them partying all over the place. Then they had the whole month of when they were uh, out, everything was opened up and they were partying and everything else. Then they had the 4th of July when they were telling people to please stay inside and they went out and partied then. So they've had all the fun activities they wanted, but now they're worried about ever making sure everything opens up for school and the continuation of, uh, of their daily lives. It's like, uh, you know, these people are not, were not made to sacrifice. They were only made to enjoy, you know, the blessings that the Most High has given them, and that's it. It's just funny that they're even having that conversation. It's like they've done nothing to uh, fix the situation. They haven't tried to, uh, you know, suffer any, you know, any time, anything for them, you know, to, in order for things to get better. They're not willing to, um, you know, sacrifice so that things would get better. They just wanted their good times to continue rolling. And now with this whole situation coming out with um, Stephen Jackson, uh, he was used by the Most High to just plant that seed about the Most High's chosen people being the so-called Negroes. Now, all of a sudden, you know, they're trying to just put their fingers in all these and the dam is, is free and leaks all over the place. And they're getting holes all over the dam. And they're having a very difficult time trying to uh, plug those holes. One huge hole, talking about the identity of the Most High's chosen people. And see, we've been, you know, as Hebrews, bringing out scripture, left and right, to actually prove what was posted. They haven't actually talked about anything, you know, trying to actually prove that the information was wrong. They just tried to attack the fact that it was brought up in the first place. And it's funny because now that, you know, it, trust me, many people are hearing this truth. Many people are getting exposed to the fact that the, the people who have been at the bottom are the ones that the Most High has chosen because they were going through um, their punishment. I saw this a couple, uh, actually uh, today. We wear Nike and get paid millions. We make Nike and get paid pennies. So who's oppressed? Now, see, it can all, it can only be, it can't be us. They will highlight the oppression of any other people, but they will always downplay our oppression. Oh, well, the Irish were enslaved just like you guys. Well, which Irish are we talking about? And no, they weren't. Oh, or white people were slaves too. So they were oppressed too. You know, I said, it's, it's, they're always looking for the oppressed. Oh, you know, Ish was, yeah, they went through it and it was, it was worse than anybody's oppression. Okay, really? You know, like I said, they, they, they are sitting here, even to today, still sitting here acting like, um, you know, we weren't, we haven't gone through that much and that we're okay. That there alone should let you know who the most high chosen people are. The ones that they don't want to admit were oppressed or have been oppressed the worst. Okay. And, and it's funny here. So I guess two athletes getting paid to entertain you, therefore now takes away the 500 plus years of our oppression. You guys were the ones that paid them millions of dollars. What did you guys pay them so much money for? You paid them to entertain you. And because Jake is so athletically superior, you will pay them all this money in order for you to keep the wool over the world's eyes. 
see, four years ago, you know, when the same, all these same things were popping up as far as all the bad happened to our people, you didn't want to hear about it. You wanted Jake to continue to, you know, perform for you. That's all. And so you guys are the ones we didn't pay the million dollars. You guys did. And you paid them to keep, you know, to keep you away from the truth, to keep the people away from the truth. So it was much better for you to pay these people millions of dollars in order for your society to continue. We're not saying that other people haven't been oppressed. We're not saying that other people have go don't go through oppression. But the most high said, like he said in Daniel's, okay, Daniel 9, 11 and 12, about how Jerusalem and Israel will be going through the worst oppression. Now we already know that some people you know, have uh, taken the bag and have been, uh, you know, can't say certain things and they're paid to entertain you. We get that. But don't sit here and act like just because you found two people making a couple million, it's making some millions of dollars, that all of a sudden now our people have not been oppressed. Not all of our people are getting this money. But that's what they like to do. They like to always downplay our oppression and anybody else is, has gone through the same, if not worse, things than we have. And we all know that that's not true. But they're going to continue to downplay at any, at any, um, any stage, any way. They're going to try to downplay all the stuff that we've gone through. As you can see through a lot of the posts. Oh, you know, we're giving you guys, I'm sick and tired of talking about oppression. I'm sick and tired of talking about Black Lives Matter. Well, this is not a black movement. You guys having great, you guys still having, well, I think a lot of people are getting that, they're getting that point finally. You know, they, they talk about Black Lives Matter so that, and, they, and as you can see the spirit of many of these people. You see how much they hate it when you talk about Black Lives Matter. Like they just can't, you know, they just hate it because, you know, it makes them feel guilty. It brings out those feelings. It makes them realize that they haven't been so as so dominant as they like to make it seem like. You know, I said, we've done everything for them. So all the great things that they've been saying that they've done, we've been doing it for them. We've given them land. We've given them our labor. And now the fact that we're, they're going to have to pay for it, they don't want to hear that. So that's why they try to make sure they downplay everything that we've gone through. You know, and play up everybody else's tough times. So, like I said, yes, I'm sure there's plenty of people that are for, do, going through forced labor in different countries, but all, but a lot of that goes for the system that has been set up, the way the system has been set up to pretty much oppress everyone. Doesn't say it just you know they might, they oppress us the worst, but doesn't say other people are forced to do all these kind of menial jobs. Yes, our people did that for hundreds of years as well. We built up this nation. We built up this system. But don't think you're just going to get away with, okay, well, we're good because these two guys got millions of dollars, so now we don't have to pay for anything. Look at these guys. These guys cry about oppression, but they make this kind of money. They make that kind of a money to pretty much, you know, make you happy. But now they can't do it anymore. You know, they may have all these plans of all these things that are about to happen, but like I said, let's see what happens with what Most High says about it. Let's see what the Most High has to say about their plans. As you can see, they've had all these plans of opening things and everything else, and that's not going great. What they have to understand, just like we understand, the Most High is in control. I'm sure we've had plenty of people, even within the Hebrew Israelite community, when we were getting ready to get oppressed, when we were getting ready to be handed over to the Gentiles, they were saying that these things will never happen. We're going to continue to be strong. We will rebuild. I'm sure our people said the same thing. But the Most High is in charge. He's the one that puts up kingdoms and takes down kingdoms. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's taking down this wicked system. He's taking down this wicked kingdom. They're looking for anything. They're trying to grasp at any straw they can to try to make them feel better about themselves, about them feeling that they don't have to pay for anything. That's why they post stuff like this. Oh, you people are always complaining. There's other people that have it worse. We're not worried about the other people. We're worried about our people. Oh, it's all about all lives matter. We all need to get together and do things together. But see, that's what happens with the whole Black Lives Matter. I saw you guys made it sound like it was only, only black lives. So then you guys can make up the punishment that you will receive. Oh, you know, let's, let's just go ahead and just, you know, and some of these games just 
take a knee in solidarity and put our arms up. That's enough. No, it's not. Oh, okay, well, let's go ahead and, you know, arrest a couple of these cops. That'll be enough. No, it's not. Oh, okay, well, let's go ahead and try to pass. Okay, well, I guess we can't even pass stuff in the <laughs> in the government because, they, you know, Democrats and Republicans can't work together. Um, so the, the little menial gestures aren't going to change anything that's coming. It's not going to change absolutely anything. Okay, so we paid a couple of people these millions. Of, that, that, that's that's going to be it. No, it's not. Is it? Go look in the Bible. That'll let you know what what's coming, what the Most High deems necessary. Look at that numbers thirty five and thirty three. Look that up. Jeremiah thirty and sixteen. Look that up. Revelation thirteen nine and ten. Look that up. You guys, like I said, there's a whole lot. You know, so there's a whole lot of things. They, they talk about things people wanting to be um, equal. Well, equal means then that we're going to have to, you guys are going to have to pay for what happened to us, right? Right? I mean, it's not like it's just going to be that easy to just to just get out of these things. You know? And, and that's what they want. They want the easy route. They want the easy road. Okay? Now, let's take a look here. Brother sent me this. Um, I talked to you when I'm Close brothers have sent me this, and I hadn't read this in a while, but it just fits absolutely perfectly with what is happening right now. And it just, I mean, just shows you it's not a all, you know, all black people are the same. This is talking to the Hebrew Israelites. This is talking to what was going to be happening at the end. Perfectly. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. You're going to see why. Well, we know why they took this out. But the rest of the world is going to see why. These are all prophecies that are happening right now worldwide, but especially here in the Americas where the Holy Spirit has awakened, you know, the people, has awakened the Jews, you know, the Israelites and many Gentiles to see the truth. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as has afflicted, as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. See, that's what that's what you guys have been doing. We have now been awakened in great boldness to show the truth. Okay, to the people who have afflicted us and made no account of his labors right here. So you guys are not making any account of all the things that you guys have done to us. But you will bring up everyone else's afflictions, but you won't actually deal with our afflictions. Again. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Ish is getting $10 billion, billions of dollars a year. They've gotten a land given to them. So someone made an account, okay, of their afflictions. They didn't go through the labor because they were never enslaved like we were. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. When the other nations see this, this arising, they're going to be troubled with terrible fear. And that's exactly what you're seeing. That's why they're making up stuff like this. They're not making this stuff up because they believe it. They're making this stuff up like this because they are, they are in fear. They're in fear now because they, they can't defeat the truth. The truth is undefeated. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. That's exactly it. That's why they're going to be repenting and groaning because they're going to realize that these black people, these African-American people, and these other people from these other nations that they put all these bywords on, because we're spread out all over the place. We're spread out worldwide. We have many bywords attached to us. And it's not just blacks and African Americans. There's going to be people with other nations that are our people, okay, that are going to be awakened, and everyone and everyone else is going to be repenting and groaning for anguish. It says we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor, and that's it. You guys, put, you know, put us down. You still continue to put us down. You still can continue to make um, excuses 
when we're shot down in the, in the, um, in the community and killed. You make excuses for why it was okay for them to do that. Okay? He, how is he numbered among the children of God? And his lot is among the saints. So it's going to be a people that you're not, that the rest of the world is not supposed to be thinking are the most high chosen people. So just like when Deshaun Jackson said that, and they're just like, oh, no, that's just ridiculous. There's no way that those Negroes could actually be the children of God. There's no way. In fact, I'm going to be so upset that you even brought that up. I'm going to go up, throw a temper tantrum, even though you just because you brought that up. I'm going to say that you're ignorant. I'm going to say that your information, you get bad information from the streets. I'm going to say you get bad information from the Internet. I'm going to say that's horrible information. Well, that fits prophecy perfectly. Because and look at that for number five, verse five. How, how, how in the hell is he numbered among the children of God? Because we have this other group of people that we're all telling the whole world are God's chosen people. That's that's the whole problem. The whole world thinks that this one group of people is children's most high, the children of God, but it's a pre, it's a group of people that's going to be hidden all the way till the end. Okay, so again, how is he numbered among the children of God, and his lot is among the saints? Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness hath not shined unto us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. So not until the end will all these rest of these people say these things right here. They're going to be like so surprised. So it can't be the people that they're thrusting in front of your face and telling you that these are the most high chosen people. It cannot be those. It's got to be someone that you just would never think are the people. Those will be the ones that'll, that you will see at the end raised up as the most highest chosen people. So don't just take this information and just put it, you know, into modern day times. Look at what's going on around you. Look and see what makes sense. It's the opposite of everything. This this right here shows you that everything that you've been taught, the opposite of everything is true. So now you've on your own, do the research, figure out who fits the curses. Figure out who fits this, okay? This a batch of scriptures right here. Figure out who fits the wisdom of Solomon chapter five. Figure out why they hid all this information because it doesn't fit their narrative. All praise is to the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.